What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy. And uh, DCEU, DCU, whatever. James Gunn's DC Universe is coming out, and we're about to be, uh, well, 2025 is the announced date, whatever, for Superman Legacy. That's right, a movie and a universe that is uh, already mild with issues in regards to basically coming out after the DCEU, Snyderverse, all that stuff which was not received very well by the general audiences. It is already set up basically to fail, but we will st we still need to see what's going on here. But yes, we do have a Superman legacy coming out here soon. And an industry that's already suffering with James Gunn having to constantly talk about concerns and issues going on throughout the entirety of the U of the entire world. Uh so also having to, you know, clarify some past moments and some of which were when he outright came out against Batman films in the past, you know, having to constantly re uh, discuss things in regards to Superman legacy, some of the casting, some of the choices here, there. Now the cast all around, I don't mind. Now there are issues with the, how many people are in the episode, but uh, Hey, it is what it is. You know, you have other issues and concerns in regards to Superman legacy. Uh, the amount of cast is my biggest issue there. What I wasn't expecting to possibly be an issue was this Superman Legacy Lois Lane casting finalist Phoebe uh, Denover. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. A heroine's role in upcoming reboot. She's the brains. She's actually the fearless one in response to Lois Lane. This is not something you want to hear right now. Now, I'm, we'll get to her actual quotes, and I do have some, like, clarifications. But, you know, you scroll down here to her actual clo quotes. Uh, Denver, perhaps best known for her role as Daphne Bassett in Netflix's Bridgerton and Clar Clarice Cliff in Sky Cinema's The Color, Color Room. Uh, oh, you have a U in it. Oh, it's British. Okay, I get it. Provided this insight into James Gunn's upcoming kickoff to the new cinematic DCU universe during a January 2024 interview given to Variety. Admits a discussion primarily centered on her new film, Fair Play, Denever, De Denover, I, I don't know if I'm saying this right, was eventually asked by the outlets, uh, I'm gonna, um, Jackson, Jackson, as to how she felt about losing the chance to portray the titular Kryptonian's love interest, a role for which she brief was a briefly a final contender before it was ultimately went to the marvelous Miss Maisel's star Rachel Brush. God, all these mega names. Okay, so that's something you do have to take into consideration. She was passed over for the role, so take that as well in regards to her comments. And even then, I am gonna put. I'm. I'm gonna think that this is a load of nothing. To be quite honest with you. In turn, the actress recalled, "It was a whirlwind, and then I realized that it was over. But it was great." As we scroll down here to get the rest of it, further, Denever, De De whatever, admitted that particular one takeaway she had from the entire affair was that fact that in the future she wanted to play more characters like Lois ostensibly recalling to the interpreted reports portrayal within Gunn's script the actress affirmed that she found Lois's appeal she found it okay to be the fact that she saves Superman she's the brains she's actually the fearless one okay 2024 I don't want to be hearing that Okay, that those are scary words in regards to Lois. She saves Superman. She's the brains. She's actually the fearless one. That is terrifying to hear. And when you're comparing to, to Superman and everything, this is terrifying to think that this might be within the Superman legacy movie. But also two points. One, this is an actress that was passed over for the role. Who knows what she's saying right now? She should could be saying this to try to tank it because she's mad that she didn't get the role. There is that factor to take into account. The other factor is I do have to say Lois Lane is particularly, you know, kind of a tougher character. She is more of a determined character. She's a determined journalist. She's a good journalist. She's an excellent journalist out there. She's gone into serious situations. You know, she has she has a headstrong personality. She is more of a feminine side to Superman and does kind of help Superman acclimate to like Metropolis and things like that. So you can have that aspect to her. She is very bright and everything, you know, kind of 
kind of bossing Superman around, but she is the titular love interest. She is a particular individual and a perfect individual for Superman because they work so well together. So you do have that. She is more of a domineering, dominant individual, but around Clark and around Superman, she's a little bit more softer and stuff. So there is that aspect. She is fearless. I'm not going to deny it. Lois is actually fearless. The instance that uh, she saves Superman, who knows what that means? Maybe Superman needs to uh, actually like build up the courage to go do something. Maybe he's shut himself off. Maybe it's important that she she is a factor in all that to take into account. So there there is that. She's the brains. Superman's pretty darn darn smart. And again, it just depends. Is she smarter living in the city than him? Is she just more clever in certain situations than him? It, this is all situational. The, I don't know where to take this. Now, these are buzzwords of 2024. Let's just admit it. These are buzzwords within the current era. But in regards to a character like Lois Lane, if you're watching even the animated series from all the way back, uh, that whole universe, Lois Lane was a pretty bossy, demanding character that showed zero fear and just wanted to get that story over and over again. She was a wonderful, headstrong character. She was very feminine in her own right. Not perfect is what it is. We could still have that here. I I just, at the end of the day, I think this is more of a, uh, I, it's something to be concerned about, but at the same time, I think it's a load of nothing, but I'm going to let you guys decide. Am I passing over a possible issue here, or do you agree with me that this is probably just a load of nothing from maybe a jilted actress? I, I, I don't know. But again, let me know your guys' thoughts on all this down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it out, friends, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live, guys. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now.